हेलो डियर फ्रेंड्स आई एम डॉक्टर परवीन मलिक एंड वेलकम बैक टू पी एम नॉलेज हब सो इन एन अर्लियर लेक्चर वी हैड डिस्कस्ड अबाउट द मीनिंग एंड डेफिनेशन ऑफ हाइपोथिस विद द हेल्प ऑफ एन एग्जाम्पल टूडे आई विल टॉक अबाउट द कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स ऑफ अ गुड हाइपोथिस सो विदाउट वेस्टिंग एनी मोर टाइम लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड अ गुड हाइपोथिस नेवर कॉन्ट्राडिक्स यूनिवर्सल ट्रूथ and natural law and order in this way hypothesis testing and generalization can be easily possible it is written in simple and easy language so that layman can also understand it easily because ultimately our main goal is to test the hypothesis and reach a particular conclusion in a hypothesis only one assumption is made so that the focus point is very targeted and this way process will become smooth and easy to apply generally a hypothesis refers to a relationship between two or more variables we want to know the cause and effect relationship between two or more variables and we want to test it with the help of hypothesis testing hypotheses are formulated by thinking logically we assume something on the basis of our logical thinking and we formulate hypothesis that there is no scope of illogical thinking a good hypothesis promotes deductive reasoning because deductive reasoning is a logical approach where you progress from general idea to specific conclusions and this is why hypothesis promotes deductive reasoning the hypothesis is written in such a language that after testing it can be clearly rejected or not rejected before formulating a hypothesis it is assured that the data will be available for testing it this can be tested with the help of evidence and data without any evidence and data nothing is going to be tested this process will make the work more authentic and acceptable hypotheses are formulated before the data is collected and analyzed this will gives the direction to the process of collecting and analysis of data if there is experimental research a hypothesis is formulated before conducting the experiment this way the experiment is getting a correct and precise direction to perform it hypotheses are formulated on the basis of the primary evidences available primary evidence more commonly known as best evidence means the original documents itself hypothesis is written in present tense because it is not a prediction or opinion but it is an assumption which is based on current factual information a good hypothesis gives assurance that the necessary equipment for testing it is available or can be easily developed a good hypothesis assures that the entire process related to data collection and analysis testing a hypothesis is under the control of the researcher only the hypothesis tested gives a solution to the main problem of the research it is considered a good hypothesis a good hypothesis gives a clear idea about the area of research variables and statistical techniques used for data analysis so this is all about the characteristics of a good hypothesis now we will discuss the sources or basis of hypothesis in the next lecture thank you for watching my video